Hi Scorpio, welcome to your August 2021 tarot bonus reading. For those of you who are new to this channel, hi, I'm Baz and Intuitive Tarot. I have a few fun announcements to make. Rambling Mike from Rambling Mike's Tarot has invited me to be a special guest reader at his meet and greet in Palm Coast, Florida, November 6. I know, I'm super excited. I hope to meet some of you. And I say some because there is a limit on tickets. Um, there's, a, there's a space capacity limit. So I will provide the link to his website in the description box below and also top at the comments where you can get your tickets. Tickets include dinner, dessert, two alcoholic beverages, then there's gonna be an open cash bar, raffle tickets, um, he's gonna have his awesome readers from Divinely Guided Tarot setting up booths to do readings, um, and I'm gonna be doing a collective reading. Okay, but more about how to get those readings later into the month, but um, yeah. I hope to see you there. The other announcement is I'm running two giveaways and I'm keeping the contest open until next Thursday morning when I do my live all signs reading. So I will link below the all signs reading that I announce all the giveaways and that's where you can enter into the drawing. Only in that video because I want all the entries in one location. I'm giving away a 30 minute personal reading and I am donating my favorite Mystical Cat Tarot deck. Not this one, this is my replacement. My other one has gotten worn out and it's hard to shuffle. So yeah, you guys are pretty much used to seeing these cat cards. This is the only cat deck I use to clarify. So good luck if any of you guys are gonna enter into the contest. So let's begin your reading. What do we have for Scorpio in love, please? Scorpio in love, hold on. These cards are so hard to shuffle. They're huge, man. One more shuffle. Let's rock this deck for these sexy Scorpios. Your current love situation. What's going on with you, Scorpio? Ooh, the tower. This is your energy. Now, with the tower being your current love life, something happened that came as a shock to you. Whether it's a shocking revelation that you've come to terms with yourself, maybe you're looking at a person in a different light and you're like, wait a minute, why am I investing my time into you? Or someone has come to you with some sort of shocking news, or there was a breakup, or just a realization about something, okay? Regardless, towers come in when something's not on a sturdy foundation and towers come in to shake it up so that you can have a new beginning right in its place, okay? So let's see who's surrounding you in love, Scorpio. The Two of Swords, Libra energy. I feel like whoever's surrounding you has been very um, indecisive and I feel like you're coming to this revelation that you don't want to wait any longer. It's like, whoa, you either do or you don't, okay? I feel like there's someone that's been very wishy-washy with you and not making some sort of decision. But let's find out. Let's, let's look at the details and characteristics of this person. See if you can recognize it. The King of Wands. Okay, he's kind of hot. I can see why you've uh, maybe waited a little bit. Now, this could be a dude or dudette. All I know is the person that you're dealing with is very um, in their masculine energy because we all carry both masculine and feminine energy. So your person that you're dealing with is very assertive. They normally take risks and they go after what they want. However, you're not seeing them take a risk with you and make some sort of decision. I don't know if you're dealing with someone that's got a choice to make. I don't know if you've got someone that's not sure if they want a commitment right now, but they definitely want the heat and the passion, okay? We are in Leo season and a lot of people are feeling very action oriented during this time, feeling very very sexy and confident, okay? This is someone that's definitely keeping an eye on you though. They're definitely keeping an eye on you. Mm -mm -mm. I love that, that man, he's sexy. <laughs> Anywho, now what's the potential challenge? The five of wands. Now, whenever I read the card in the challenge position, I automatically see it reverse. So it does look like um, whatever drama that you guys had together, you guys are coming out of it. But it still tells me that there could have been some more cooks in the kitchen. There was some jealousy maybe, some competition, okay? And maybe you came to this realization that, wow, what am I really competing for? Okay, or vice versa could be a Leo because that's Leo's energy as well. So what's the mutual energy between you guys together? 
the Knight of Pentacles. You both want something stable. You both are being very cautious with each other as well because the Knight of Pentacles is my geriatric horse for a reason. It's very slow to get to the finish line, but it's the only Knight that actually makes it to the finish line. The Knight of Wands is very hot and heavy, very fast moving, very passionate with their wand. The Knight of Cups is in love with the idea of love. They like to be, you know, Don Juan for the night and be romantic, but they don't really stick around for long term. The Knight of Swords is all about, you know, communicating. So the Knight of Pentacles is the only Knight that actually brings forth long-term commitment. Thinks about long-term, five-year plan, 10-year plan, 20-year plan, okay? So you both are thinking about long-term with each other, but I feel like this person's indecisiveness is pissing you off. And you're like, whoa, you're not that hot for me to like compete. I don't know, he looks kinda hot to me, anywho. So what's this person's view on you, Scorpio? How do they view you? The Page of Swords. They're viewing you as keeping an eye on them. Okay, they're viewing you as keeping an eye on them. You may be asking them 101 questions because the Page of Swords is a student. It's someone very inquisitive, wants to get to know what they're dealing with. So you definitely want to know where you're getting involved with. You're asking this person questions about their past. You're asking questions about where they're going for their future. You're asking them questions about how you see things. You're asking them if they feel the same way about you, things like that. You see all those light bulbs right here though? I feel like currently you're getting some sort of epiphany, some sort of light bulb moment to the situation and you're like, whoa, you need to make a decision now before I am going to just move forward, okay? So how do you view them? The Empress. Taurus energy, but also Venus and Libra. You're viewing them as someone that does want growth and expansion with you. You're viewing them as someone very loving and nurturing and very abundant. So I feel like this is why you have been patient this far or this um, long because you, you see the softer side of them. Okay, you see the part where they're very assertive and you know dominant and very masculine, but you also see that part of them that's very loving and and caring and checks in on you and sees how you're doing and you know is very thoughtful. Okay, and if you're a dude watching this, maybe you're seeing this person you know worried about a pregnancy for some, okay, or someone that's really focusing on their kids and getting them prepared for school, things like that. Okay, so what's their energy together moving forward, Spirit? What's their energy together moving forward? Seven of Wands, more Leo energy. Now, even though your current mutual energy is wanting long term but taking things slow, your energy moving forward is kind of like putting your guard up with each other. Okay, you both are getting worried about where this connection is going, so you're starting to let your defenses up. Okay, you're looking at peace and your person's looking very calm and serene, but you're definitely both putting up some healthy boundaries. You don't want to get screwed over by either one of you. Okay, you both are like mirroring each other very strongly, might I add. So what's your advice, Scorpio? Ace of Swords, get your truth. Don't be afraid to ask this person the truth. Okay, the Ace of Swords is all about enlightenment. It's all about clarity. It's all about opening up that throat chakra, speaking your truth to receive the truth. You get back what you give out. So if you want this person to tell you what they see with you, where they see this going, whether there's gonna be growth and expansion and action being taken more than just you know fun passion, you gotta to speak to them. Get that, get that truth bomb out. Okay, this could be vice versa. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's get the overall energy and then I'm gonna start clarifying, okay you guys? The chariot. Cancer energy. You could live at a distance from this person and this could be why things have been so slow moving. And I also see a different race here, okay? But when I look at this card, I see two different color horses, okay, which is representative of duality. I feel like this is telling me that you're going this way, this person's going this way. It's like both horses that are leading the same, um, these horses are leading you both a certain path, but one keeps on going this way while the other person goes this way. You, you're, you're not on the same page, okay? You both are not on the same page, but I feel like there's clarity coming in very, very soon with the Sun card, Leo energy, that's going to, um, you know, force someone to maybe make a decision. Now, I don't know if there's a decision to make between two people with the Lover's card coming up, but 
the lover's card does represent choices needing to be made and it's Gemini energy and it is telling me you feel a very intense connection with this person and that's why it's hard to move away from it now you see how this woman's hair is being you know pulled uh, this way this tells me that you feel such a strong magnetic connection to this person where every time you pull away it's like they pull you back in you pull away and it pulls you back in and I am seeing an age difference here okay but not like a very large age difference but enough for it to be a little bit noticeable perhaps now another card that poked in that I didn't notice was the nine of Pentacles I'm pulling in some Scorpios that are single and stable and independent this is my independent rock star card or your person is single and independent and you know doing their thing but I feel like there's gonna be clarity about where this is going because the chariot is all about growth it's all about forward movement it's all about victory and success but someone needs to make a decision and I'm seeing this decision being not made in the first part of this month okay so yeah a lot of major arcana coming through let's start clarifying the world card on the bottom I'm strongly getting distance being a factor or someone needing to um, close out a cycle in order to have growth and expansion here you both want it but someone's not doing their part or you both aren't okay the page of swords wanted to come out now with the page of swords coming out as the clarifier for the tower I feel like you're you're seeing something for what it is and it's becoming a really shocking revelation for you it's almost telling me that this page of swords and the tower is like oh this makes sense now I know what to do here is the tower and the page of swords you're coming to some sort of conclusion well, all right, whether it's, you know what, I see this for what it is, this person's not making any moves, I need to throw down a tower and throw some truth bombs to get this person to tell me what they want, once and for all. Okay, let's see the bottom energy. The Eight of Wands. There is communication coming in, possibly within the next eight days. Strong fire energy coming through. There is someone confused with that Seven of Cups wanting to peek out. Okay, it could be a Cancer or, or another Scorpio, but I do see communication coming in, whether you're delivering it or someone's, de or someone's delivering it to you. I do see communication, and this is where some truth bombs are gonna be coming out. But someone's a little nervous with that Nine of Swords energy coming in. So why is the Two of Swords who is surrounding Scorpio in love? Why is the Two of Swords who is surrounding Scorpio in love? Really? Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. I love you guys. Why is that two of swords? What's surrounding Scorpio in love? Okay. The page of pentacles in reverse and the knight of swords on the bottom. With the page of pentacles in reverse coming in with the clarifier for the two of swords tells me that someone's not making plans. Someone's not communicating what their plans are, leaving the other person in the dark. Because the Page of Pentacles in the upright is communication, because pages are communicators, they're messengers. And Pentacles are all about making short-term plans, long-term plans, talking about stuff that makes sense, okay? And since it came out in reverse, it tells me someone's not making a decision about some sort of short-term plan or where this connection is going, they're holding in their offer, they're not giving it to the other person, leaving the other person feeling like this is just gonna be a wasted opportunity. And with that Nine of Swords being on the bottom, I strongly feel like this person is the one that's rushing to you with communication. All I want to know is, which one are you, Scorpio? Are you the unexpected bird, or are you the frustrated cat? Okay, someone here in this situation is ticked off and frustrated at the lack of give and take, the lack of movement, and someone's going to be unexpectedly hearing a message that they weren't expecting with that bird being there. I feel like that's you throwing down that tower. I feel like this person's rushing in with communication and you're gonna drop that truth bomb on them and they're gonna be like, whoa, where did you have all this? Where did this come from? I didn't know that this is how you felt, things like that. So why is the King of Wands the details about this person that Scorpio could be dealing with? Someone definitely has fire in their chart. The Wheel of Fortune and the Tower. Yep. Now the Wheel of Fortune speaks of positive changes luck being on your side the wheel spinning in your favor scorpio and it's also your energy but also the energy of taurus leo and aquarius i feel like you're going to be throwing some tower moves at this person very very soon once they communicate with you this is this is them reaching out to you within the next eight days perhaps and you speaking your truth not holding back and they're going to be like whoa they're unexpecting it okay so now i feel like they are the bird that's not expecting 
what you have to say to them. So why is the Five of Wands the potential challenges? Two of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Okay, reading the Ten of Swords in reverse may tell me that someone hasn't ended something. Someone's still making a decision and taking a step back from the situation to figure things out, but them being at a crossroads is leaving someone else stuck and stagnant. Okay, there's a lot of love here with the King of Cups. A lot of love being felt and a lot of love that you guys want to see grow, but you can't see growth and expansion if someone's not making a decision. So why is the Knight of Pentacles their mutual energy together, Spirit? Why is the Knight of Pentacles, Scorpio and this person's mutual energy together? Six of Cups wanted to hop out. There could be children in the way. Not like in the way, but like someone staying with another situation due to um, having children together or someone just wants to focus on taking good care of their kids and not really um, invest too much into a commitment. That is a side note for somebody else. Okay, the Hierophant. Taurus energy, your mutual energy together is wanting growth and expansion, wanting a commitment, wanting to take this to the next level with the Hierophant and take that Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles status. You may be dealing with a business owner or you are the business owner. Someone here is really focusing on their finances. They definitely have their shit together, but when it comes to matters of the heart, they're a little bit skittish. So why is the Page of Swords how they view you, Scorpio? Now this could be them also watching you, getting more info, okay? Why is the Page of Swords how they view Scorpio? The Four of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. You've cut communication with this person, or you're going to, to get your, um, to get your feelings heard. Okay, I feel like you're gonna go no contact on this person and you're gonna close off and block them with the Four of Pentacles. And if you're not blocking them, you're just blocking your energy from being receptive to what they have to offer. Okay, and they're seeing that. Because you're disappointed about what's going on with the Five of Cups here. Scorpio energy. You're disappointed. You feel hurt. You feel betrayed. You feel like this person, you know, got your heart involved and isn't making some sort of decision to bring stability to the connection. And you feel like you were taken advantage of. You feel like you gave your heart to this person because when a Scorpio has love for someone, a Scorpio has love for someone. You've got this intensity about you. And you feel like someone's past may have interfered with the Six of Cups showing up or so, um, a situation with co-parenting, okay? So why is the Empress how you view them though? You still view them as being very stable and abundant and nurturing. Why is the Empress how Scorpio views this person? Ten of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. You see them carrying burdens. Okay, you see them being very um, abundant and very uh, beautiful and handsome, whatever the case may be with that empress, but you see them taking on a lot of burdens. They may be taking on too much at work, they may be taking on other people's problems and not focusing on their own self, which is really odd for an empress, but even an empress can have a bad day. And I feel like you're seeing them just not releasing some sort of burden, and once they release this burden, they can possibly go to you. So why is the Seven of Wands, their energy together moving forward, Spirit? Seven of Cups wanted to hop out. Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So your energy together moving forward is um, a reunion, getting together, possibly for some drinks, some laughs, Three of Cups, or celebrating, you know, some sort of achievement. It's dating and collaborating with the Three of Pentacles. But you're still, you guys are still gonna be a little bit guarded. You're not gonna be totally invested as you were before because you're protecting your heart because you know that they can be very indecisive at times and you just want to really uh, protect your heart center, okay? Because that's Leo energy, which Leo rules the heart, okay? Ace of Swords, why is that uh, Scorpio's advice? Three of Swords on the bottom and the Five of Cups in reverse, okay? Your advice is to work on your healing because you feel like your heart was broken with this person. There could have been a third party involved. They want you to focus on your healing um, because of this heartache, but also speak your truth to this person and don't, and don't hold back. If there's something you wanna say to this person, um, don't live with regret of not speaking your truth, okay? 
because you've planted a lot of seeds with this person, you've invested a lot of time into this person, and you want to see growth and expansion, you want to see a return on your investment, okay? So why is the chariot the overall energy with the, the sun? Some of you guys could have met this person in 2019, or there were plans being made in July of 2019, okay? Or there's a reconciliation in September, okay? Why is the chariot the overall energy? The lover, someone's making a decision. Someone's making a decision and speaking their truth with the Queen of Swords. Look at that. It started with the towers going down because someone wasn't making a decision. And then your advice being just speak your truth to get the truth in return. And because of that, the overall energy is forward movement and someone making a decision. So you, the only way of knowing what someone wants is to actually ask them, what do you want? And if they don't have the answer, then they are not worth your time. Okay? If they don't know what they want with you, then they're not gonna know. Usually people know within three months of dating someone whether they want to continue seeing them or just keeping them around because of you know the sex and shit with that King of Wands energy. Okay, I feel a strong soul tie connection here with that lovers coming up two times and with that Empress being here, it's just, if, if you guys aren't speaking about what you want, it's not gonna turn into anything. The, the mutual energy is wanting to level this up, the High Priestess. I mean, the Hierophant. Look at that, romance came out. There's romance uh, in your life, Scorpio. So whether it's with this person, there's someone else coming in then. Someone that will show their feelings. Look at that, communicate clearly, boom. That's pretty much the advice I was giving. Communicate clearly, that's the only way of knowing where this connection is going. If you're afraid of what they'll say in return or vice versa for the cross watcher, then you rip that you rip that band-aid and you finally know where you stand. Okay? Don't drag it out. If you don't know where this person wants this connection to head, are you willing to waste more time and then finding out months down the road that they had no intentions of being with you? Speak truthfully and communicate clearly with this person. It's the only way you'll ever know how someone feels or where they stand, okay? And if they are too skittish to talk about how they feel and things like that, then they're not ready. Don't stop. There is romance surrounding you. All right, Scorpio, that was your love reading. I hope it helped. If it resonated, rock that like and subscribe button. Comment below. And don't forget to... Uh, Go visit Rambling Mike's Tarot's uh, website to get your tickets if you want to hang out with us. And go to the All Signs reading if you want to enter into the drawing. I love you guys. Bye.